Come here now, girl. Just as it has always been, when our memories of the ancient world fade into twilight, a new era dawns to fill the void, an unfamiliar path with a pulse of its own, a tempo not dictated by the labor of men, but accelerated by the rhythm of machines, launching the world into an age of bold innovation. From this cauldron of steel and sweat, a vision of prosperity emerged. Harnessing the untold power of the elements, turning night into day. Creating new designs that brought the world stage to the masses. And providing an experience that many could never imagine. The advent of mechanized warfare brought devastation like none the world had ever seen. Providing a window of opportunity for some to dictate conformity as regimes spread their ideologies with their heavy hand. Inciting the world to the brink of war. And yet, some chose a different path and through their vision brought unique perspectives to the world. As singular proponents of free thinking remained, striving for peace in their endeavors to unlock the secrets of the universe. Some of which would fill our hearts with fear and regret. But as this progress unfolds, the finite nature of our world becomes clear. Our survival, the survival of all the world's peoples, depends on our ability to coexist in peace. But this peace is tenuous. Mankind will always look onward, yearning for more, searching for new boundaries, only to break through them with the understanding that this world is one in which we all share. Comes the responsibility of knowing that the decisions you make today will have a lasting impact on the generations of tomorrow. What's up guys, Ender here, and today I am here with a new series, Sid Meier's Civilization V, Brave New World. Now, you guys are probably wondering, why are you playing this game? Well, I wanted to bring our channel some more diverse content and see what kind of games you guys like. So if you like this video, uh, hit the like button and go share this with other people and tell them to subscribe because you want us to grow and you want other people to hear about us. So we're gonna what just why does the game look like that? Hmm, I don't know. Set up game. Oh, so yeah, I think we're gonna choose Germany. So Germany's special ability is. I'm not going to read that because offending people. Upon defeating a barbarian unit inside an encampment, there is a 67% chance you earn 25 gold and they join your side. Plus, we pay 25% less for land unit maintenance. So that's pretty OP if you don't know about this game. Um, our special unit is the Panzer and building is the Hans. Um, we're gonna play on a continent's map with eight players and 16 city states. We only have to take over the eight capitals. And um we don't have to take over the city states, but we can. Gonna play on King difficulty. The AI receive a small advantage to improve their play. And we're gonna play on standard game pace. Um 
you see we only have domination because if we turn on science and someone all the way across the world is going to win a science victory we won't be able to stop them so we're just going to do domination only so everyone will focus on military and fighting and killing each other because actually guys i've won every single victory on this game except for domination and i just wanted to record this because anytime i try to go for domination i always lose and so yeah the guy that likes the hear people die and all that stuff in video games can actually win a domination victory in Civ 5 so surprising huh uh but anyway let's start the game hail mighty bismarck first chancellor of germany and her empire germany is an upstart nation fashioned from the ruins of the holy roman empire and finally unified in 1871 a little more than a century ago the german people have proven themselves to be creative industrious and ferocious warriors despite enduring great catastrophe in the first half of the 20th century germany remains a worldwide economic artistic and technological leader great prince of bismarck the german people look to you to lead them to greater days of glory their determination is strong and they turn to you their beloved iron chancellor to guide them once more will you rule and conquer through blood and iron or foster the germanic arts and industry can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Okay. Um, we can't build a civilization that will stand the test of time. But my goal is to build an empire that will stand the test of time. So, yeah, that question is kind of an understatement. Begin our journey. All right. So, this already looks like a pretty good spot. Wait, wait, wait. Tundra. We're at the north part of the map, I can see. But still, we're in a pretty good place and we're surrounded by desert. Okay. So, we're stuck between cold and hot. Nice. Those will not be good for us. But, um... Yeah, the crabs will provide us with some food, gold, and happiness. The marble, pretty good. Get some early stone for who knows what. But yeah, this looks like a good place for production and um, food and gold and happiness. Yeah, pretty good start. So let's go ahead and settle. Berlin. Uh, so you're gonna go this way. Eh, maybe it's not much desert. Maybe it's more over there. So we're gonna start off by building a scout. Queue some more things up. Then you're gonna build a monument. Then you're gonna build a worker. Yeah, sounds good. Choose our research. For this, we're gonna rush writing. So we can build the great library and get that free technology. Then we're going to go straight down to Mason. Nope. Writing. And we're going to go to Masonry. Yeah. There. All right. Next turn. Oh, we found city state borders. That's nice. That's nice. What I'm hoping is that because if like this city state is relatively close to me, city states don't declare war on you. But the thing is. Ah, Genoa. Nice. First person to meet them, so they give us 30 gold. The thing I'm hoping is that we're not close to any main empires. Because if we are actually close to a main empire, you won't have time to grow as quick as I would like. But, like, having city... Ooh, natural wonder. Uluru. Uluru? Yeah. That's in Australia, right? I think so. Nice, so that provides some faith and some food. Already seeing a potential X city spot right here, hopefully. But back to um what I was talking about. Hopefully no one, no big civilization is next to us on this continent because I won't have time to grow my military and get my economy right for a domination victory because you need a lot of access, happiness, and gold. Because 
taking over these capitals and other cities are going to take a toll on our economy. So let's just hope that we do pretty good. Eu sou Pedro, imperador do Brasil. Tenho pouco tempo para agradecer. O que eu trago aqui? Hello, Pedro. Hello, sir. All right. So, what was I just saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't want close civilizations that do. Ugh. Gosh, I hate this. Natural, natural wonder. Ruins. So that's good. Scout, you're gonna go out this way. And just tell me what else is up there. Oh my goodness. This is not gonna be good. I hate that wonder, wonder ruin. I don't want a map. Nice, okay. Hopefully we can put our special ability into play right here. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's not a border, that's just desert. Uh, let's start heading this way and relatively up so we can take out that encampment. Ooh, jackpot, two ruins. Hopefully we get something good from at least one of them and not a doggone map. Why'd I skip that? I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Try not to skip again. That is the absolute worst. That's worse than the map. I don't want that. You better have something good. Oh, it's terrible. Yes. Yes. It has survivors and it added to the population of our city. So it's now three. Good. Good. That is very good. Okay. Ooh, city state. I see it up oh, right there. Um, so we're going to go and take out that encampment. We're gonna meet this city-state. Ooh, Sripada. Cape Town. First one to meet them. Good. I think they're gonna get Sripada in their borders because their borders are right there. It's gonna grow and take that. So we don't have a chance to get that, but we still have a chance to get a little Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trespassing. Whatever. I'm getting out. Ooh, barbarians. And camions right there. Ooh, barbarians. Uh, do we fight them or do we go straight for them? Can oh, they're going to bypass us. That's good. That looks like an amazing place to settle. Ooh. What about Brazil being close? I don't see where their borders are. I mean, we met their warrior right there. They must be down south down here. Because if they didn't meet Cape Town, hmm, huh, surprising. So my bet is on that they're more down south over here. There's another Brazilian warrior. Uh, I don't think I should be attacking, but hey, let's, let's do it. All right. Don't attack me. I hate you with passion. Uh, this says rapid expansion. We're not going to get that. This is for military. We're not going to get that. This is for religion. We're not going to get that right now unless we 
hopefully we can get a religion hopefully um this is for best this is best for um small empires but even though it says it's best for small empires it has some advantages pros for large empires so we're gonna get this all right in tradition and we're gonna go this way ah there's the first brazilian border we're gonna fortify hopefully not die don't die i hate you why would you do that don't attack me ever unit promotion good insta hill Ooh, there's more. Uh, attack him. Jeez, that was terrible. Ah, yep, the Brazilian start bias. Jungle, I should have known. Yep, they were gonna spawn in the jungle and we are gonna have some problems. <gasps> You're Maria, who are you? I'm Bismarck of Germany. Why are you here? you find out later. Who told you to come? Uh, nobody, I just want to come by myself. Yep, mm-hmm, um, goodbye. Okay, this guy's about to die. Yep, that guy died. GG. Rio. Found it. Okay, so uh we might have to have a little change of things. We're gonna do that. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna put uh need two hundred gold. All right, so we're gonna be unprotected for a while. That's just why can I still see him? Mm. I think that's a glitch. You know what? I'm tired of controlling you. Go automate it. Gold. Cool. So, Portugal really might be somewhere down here. Wait, we're gonna reveal your entire capital. Hola. No, I don't want to pay you one gold per turn for an embassy. No, not right now. Mm -mm. Ah, you're in our borders. You're very stupid. Get shot. Goodbye. Pantheon found it. Brazil has started worshiping the goddess of protection. Wow. Good, Brazil. Good. So, we're going to speed this up and just go in production mode. Yep, three turns for that working now. And then next, we're going to add something. We're going to go for two warriors. No. Then we're gonna go for a shrine. But uh you're gonna go down, we're gonna build the shrine, then the warrior. Alright. Hopefully we can get 200 gold as well. And why is the map? Oh, there it is. Brazil, no, Brazil, Berlin. Shoot them. Alright. So we're not off to the best start. So, whoa, okay. Six and the most fed people. Nice, nice, nice. Brets, Bratislava. First person to meet them. Wait a second. 
How are we the first person to meet them when Brazil's right here? Brazil, you need to get on top of your stuff. What is your problem? You need to get to work, bro. We're meeting Bratislava over here, and you're, what are you doing? Ooh, Pantheon. Mm, an unknown self. Hmm, okay. Started worshiping what? Open skies. So they get culture from pastures. So they have a lot of cows? I can't do anything. Alright. There. You do that. Oh, and we're beginning production on the Great Library. Hopefully no one builds it before us. Yes, accept embassy so I can see your entire capital now. Mm. You actually have you have a good starting position, but it's not ideal. I mean, I wouldn't want it because these two water tiles, lakes, right here, because they have no benefit to me. You can't even build a fishing boat in it. Hold up, you go into the capital so you don't get stolen. You stay right there, you don't do anything. All right, we're just gonna shoot this guy and then you can go back and finish your farm. Whoa, dude, you're just gonna have to stop doing that and die. Goodbye. What else has the scout found? Ah, oh, he found the edge of this continent. That's nice. So it looks like our continent is relatively big and we actually do have space, but I'm willing to bet on it that Brazil's going to get up a settler before us and he's going to settle right here. I'm willing to bet on it. He's going to settle somewhere right here. He's going to steal our land away and we're not going to have anything. I guarantee it because this is where I want to settle but I guarantee that's where he settles next I know it okay hi Portugal so you want to trade embassies yeah Shit. goodbye don't want you anymore see you later okay so we have 200 gold now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna purchase a warrior there so we can protect ourselves now Let's take a look at the demographics. Second in population to Brazil. Fourth in crop yield. Third in manufactured goods to Portugal. GMP. We have the like, least amount of gold. Second in land. Brazil is last. Ooh, we have the least amount of soldiers. Yeah, not a big surprise. 72% approval. Not the smartest person, but Brazil is. Hmm, okay. They getting shot. Go, Bratislava. Go. You can do it. Oh, and I didn't pay attention. Portugal is right here. Hopefully, they don't know about this. Hopefully, those two go to war and just kill each other. And then I can just swoop in and kill them both. All these hopefuls. Right? So, uh, Scout, do not get killed by being right there. Please don't get attacked. Please don't get attacked. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good. All right. So, we're going to go. Uh oh. Yeah, we're back, Mr. Barbarian. Don't mind us. Because we're totally not about to attack you or, or anything. You're not going to join our side at a 67% chance. Don't worry about that. Not at all. Hey, they ignored us. Good. So, we're going to go build a mine over here. We're going to get oligarchy. And we're going to attack them. Join our side. Join our side. We have cookies. We have cookies. You didn't die. You need to die so you can join our side and be rehealed. I don't know how that works. We kill them so they can join our side. I mean, I, mean, eh, I don't know. You want a great profit. Does it look like I have faith? I have zero. 
No, don't get attacked. Well, I told you. What is your problem? Here, go this way. Go on top of the bananas. Run. Brazil, you're here. Build a mine, you. All right, attack them this time. Kill them. We have cookies. Good. They didn't join us. All that for them not to join us. I hate this ability. It's not working. 67%. That's guaranteed, right? Yeah, that's better than 100%, right? Yeah. Don't do this. Not again. Not again. Not again. Okay, good. Unit promotion. Good. All right. Heal up. No! Misclick! Ah! Uh, so we've lost another unit GG game GG great Cool, Virgil. Great cool. Alright, so before this episode gets any worse, um, we're just gonna end it off here. And let's choose a technology before we end it off. Bronze working so we can see iron. Alright. But anyway, we're gonna end the episode off here before it gets any worse and I get any angrier. Yeah, so um yes. Uh yeah, if you like this video once again and you want me to continue doing this series I mean regardless I'm gonna continue it maybe partially I don't know maybe if you like it and eh. yeah comment favorite subscribe share it with your friends um get two more people to subscribe if you're watching this video just ask two people to subscribe get them to subscribe and then yeah we'll all grow together and we'll be a big happy family yep uh-huh this is getting very uh awkward uh bye all your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried